Night spot on Golfway. Reporter Liz McKernan has more on what city leaders hope to be a resurgence in downtown business. Dilapidated and falling apart. It makes no sense. Hilton Kelly, a Port Arthur community advocate, is tired of seeing his downtown neighborhood struggle. And it's almost like the forgotten uh, uh, grandparent, you know, that nobody goes to visit anymore. This is our home. This home gave a lot to a lot of folks, and it's time that we give something back to this town. Most of the buildings in downtown Port Arthur are boarded up and abandoned like this one. However, just next door, they're not telling people to keep out. In fact, they're getting ready to open their doors. The lights aren't officially on for business yet, but owner Joshua Stevens is excited to reopen his business after a near 13-year hiatus. The nightclub industry is in my blood in a sense. Uh, entertainment is in my uh, blood. i uh, basically uh, all my life been uh, involved in some form of entertainment. It's no secret that Joshua's nightclub, adorned with Mardi Gras posters and jazz singer photos, is aimed to help revive downtown's business and spirit. The downtown area really can come back alive uh, with the right investors and right people uh, that want to uh, bring the life back to downtown. The Port Arthur Economic Development Corporation says that even though the downtown area looks abandoned, there's still a lot of traffic running through Proctor Street, saying things are moving forward in building and redevelopment in the area. I hope that Joshua Stevens put to action something that Hilton Kelly hopes will inspire other small business owners to follow. Without vision, we perish. So it's time that we put all the plans that we have on the shelves, let's put them in action. Not tomorrow, not next week, but today. Looking to the future to become a strong downtown business and help put Port Arthur back on the map. In Port Arthur, Liz McKernan, KBMT 12 News. Speakeasy is in its final stages of renovations. Right now, a date hasn't been set, though, for its reopening. Coming up tonight, here's a story for all of you Dallas Cowboys fans and you.